What's up people on the interwebs, I hope you have an amazing day and today I am going to show you how to create these code 2319 nail art from Pixar's Monsters Inc. And this nail art design is pretty cool and unique as it's actually fluffy nail art. If you touch these nails they will be fluffy which I think are really cool and also fits with the inspiration where this nail design came from. Plus they glow under UV light which I think is pretty cool. But anyway, let's jump into this nail design and let me show you how to create these amazing Co 2319 nail art. So for starters, you're going to want these little tubs that are filled with different colours of fluff. This is the key ingredient you need to make your nails fluffy. I will put a link in the description below where you can find these little tubs filled with different colour fluff. And then you're going to want these two colour nail polishes and of course you're going to want a base and a top coat. And you're also going to need different size paint brushes. Optionally what you can have, you can have a peel off base coat instead of a regular base coat. It does not affect this nail design at all but it does make it a lot easier to take the nail design off when you're finished as having the fluff on top, the normal process of taking nail polish off doesn't work quite the same and it takes twice as long but don't worry if you haven't got a peel off base coat I will show you another alternative of how you can get this design off once you are finished anyway enough talk of all the tools you're going to need let's jump in and let me show you how to actually create this design so for starters you are going to want to apply a base coat to all of your nails once the base coat has dried you are then going to want to grab your yellow and orange nail polish and on all of your fingers apart from your ring finger you are going to want to apply these two nail polishes in a stripe pattern you're going to want to start with yellow then apply orange then apply yellow then apply orange and then apply yellow again at the bottom so you're going to want a stripe pattern of yellow orange yellow orange yellow when you are applying the stripe pattern on your nail it doesn't need to be perfect because this is just going to be a base outline for when we add the fluff on later so we just have some guidelines of where we want to stick the fluff it doesn't need to be perfect if it's messy don't worry and then once you've done all these stripes on all your fingers you're going to want to go to your ring finger and you're going to want to repeat the same process but just slightly different we are just going to do three rows of stripes so we're just going to do yellow orange and then yellow again at the bottom as this finger we are going to stick our sock on later so we just need to emphasize more of the orange in the middle of the nail and just have a bit of yellow at the top and bottom of the nail once you have finished applying the nail polish onto all of your nails you're going to want to let that dry and once it's dried we are then going to apply the fluff on all of our nails. The key to applying the fluff on our nails is we are going to want to apply the top coat on different sections of our nail and whilst the top coat is still wet we are going to apply the fluff on top. When I first started this design I used the fan brush as a shovel to scoop the fluff out of the pot and to apply it on the nail but due to the wide surface of the fan brush I was struggling a little bit to get a good clump of fluff on to the fan brush to pour on to the nail. Plus the fan brush was a lot more messier. A lot of the fluff went everywhere else on my nail and finger and even on my background than actually going on to the nail itself. So personally I would use a smaller squarer brush that you can use more as a shovel and use the fan brush just to remove any excess fluff from your finger. And once we have got all the fluff in one area we would like and we are happy for how the end result looks, we are then going to repeat the process again with the different areas of the nail. So now we are going to work on the yellow part and we're just going to repeat the same process. So we're going to add a top coat on to the yellow stripe and then we are going to get our yellow fluff and get our nail brush and we're just going to put the fluff back on to the nail and we're just going to keep repeating this process over and over again till all of our nails are covered in fluff. Whilst I'm repeating this process over and over again I thought I'd tell you a cool fun fact 
from Pixar why they have called this a code 2319. So in the English alphabet, W is the 23rd letter in the alphabet and S is the 19th letter in the alphabet. So from 23 and 19 we have WS and an abbreviation of WS is white sock. So the reason why it's called code 2319 as that just stands for code white sock which makes a lot of sense in code terms so I thought that was a pretty cool fact of why it's called code 2319 as it basically stands for code white sock so if any of you was wondering why it's called a code 2319 now you know anyway the only thing I do recommend if you do create this design is to work in sections don't apply the top coat onto every section that is yellow work on one row at a time as the time it cover every row with top coat and the time you get the nail fluff and apply it onto your nail a lot of that top coat has dried and you don't get a good consistency of fluff sticking on your nail so it is better to work on one section at a time so we can see of fluff on each section of the nail. Obviously of course this would have been a great design to wear on the 3rd of February of this year as a lot of people celebrated that day to celebrate Monsters Inc and most importantly the code 2319 seen in the film as the date was an abbreviation of that code but fear not if you still want to celebrate code 2319 for the day. Obviously in America that's how they view their date with the month first and the day second but if you view the calendar in how most countries view it with the day first and the month second then code 2319 will also reappear on the 2nd of March so you'll be able to celebrate it again in the next few months. But if you miss it on the 2nd of March Fear not, if you completely remove the month from the calendar, you could celebrate it on the 23rd of every month of this year. So that is another loophole how you could get away to wearing this design every month or even later within the year if you miss it on the 2nd of March. And once you have repeated the process and you've got a healthy consistency of fluff on all of the nails, don't be afraid to jump back in if you would like because there might be times you might find little bold spots and just to fix them are quite easy just get some top coat and apply it in the bold area and just put some fluff back on and they will cover any of those bold spots if you experience that issue and then that's the first part of the design done we have obtained the monster's fur now we just need to add the sock onto our ring finger and how we obtain the sock is using a finer paintbrush we're going to dip that into the top coat and then we're just going to paint a sock outline onto the nail and it's quite easy to create the outline of the sock as all you really want to do is just create a tilted L shape and that will give us our sock shape and once we have got our sock shape of the top coat whilst it is still wet we are going to apply a good amount of white fluff onto the nail and once you have done that for the first time you may notice it is a little bit faint don't worry about that what we are going to do is we're just going to keep repeating the process we're just going to keep building and building on our sock until we get a good strong white showing on our nail and all you have to really do really is just repeat this process three or four times to get a good strong white showing up on our nail though the good thing with applying a lot of top coat and having lots of layers of fluff in between them the sock does become sort of malleable enough where you can actually mold it a little bit so if you're not quite happy with certain areas of your sock either some bits are too chunky or you want to just kind of smooth some areas down to make it more look like a sock if you get a dotting tool or even the back of the paintbrush just something with a sort of smooth edge where you can sort of just push your sock around and just change any small details you want to make your sock look even better. We are then going to want to add a line of top coat at the top of our sock and then we are going to apply some red fluff on top 
just to give our sock a little bit more detail obviously what you guys can do you can change the design of the sock if you want you, you could make it a striped sock or you can make it a polka dot sock you can make the sock a lot more funkier if you would like but that's completely up to you and like we did earlier with the sock if there's any parts of your red line you are not liking you can get your stick again we can tweak the line a bit personally for me when I did the line I thought it was a little bit chunky so I just got my stick and just made the red line a little bit more narrow and once you are happy with your sock you can tidy up any bold spots or when we were adding our sock on top if you happen to damage any of the monster's fur underneath we can simply fix that and then applying some more fluff on top to cover any parts we may damage or just some parts that may still be a little bit bold and then we have finished majority of the nail design we just need to do the cleanup process and you just want to quickly fan away any excess fluff from the nail and then you are going to want to get a paintbrush so you want to dip a paintbrush into some nail polish remover and you're just going to quickly wipe the brush around the cuticle area just to remove any excess nail polish around the area and that is how you create these awesome code 2319 nail art but just before I go I want to show you how to remove this nail design as it is very different from other nail designs so like I said earlier if you applied a peel off base coat just using a cuticle pusher you will be able to pop the design off lickety split but that is the easiest way to take the design off but if you haven't got any peel off base coat don't worry the other way you can take them off it does work but it does take a little bit longer and that is to soak some cotton wool into some nail polish remover and then with our soaked cotton wool we are just going to wrap it around our nail and then getting some tin foil we are going to wrap the tin foil round our cotton wool and you're just going to want to wrap that tightly onto your finger and then you're going to want to leave the tin foil on for about an hour and within that hour the nail polish remover will have been slowly eating away the design and once your hour is up if you put some slight pressure onto your nail when you pull the tin foil off the design should come off along with it and any part of the design that did stay on your nail that didn't get removed from the peel off base coat or from having our nails in nail polish for an hour then fear not as just get some nail polish remover on a cotton bud and just quickly wipe away any of the excess as it should come off straight away and those are the two best ways how to get this design off quite easily but what I do recommend is if you are going to go with the tin foil trick is to have some cuticle oil and some hand cream with you afterwards and quickly apply these two items onto your nail afterwards as having acetone on your nails for an hour will leave your hands and nails feeling quite dry so if you do go with the tin foil trick once you take them off you want to quickly hydrate your nails and hands again and that's pretty much it those are the main tips and tricks to clean up the design and also how to get the design removed from your nails but there you guys have it that is how you create some fluffy code 2319 nail art if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Also, let me know in the comments down below what is your favourite Pixar slash Disney film. And also, if you have any other ideas of nail art you want me to create, leave a comment down below. And just remember guys, keep being awesome, keep being amazing, and I will see you guys in the next nail art video. Bye!